Okay. Uh, so the recording has started. Uh, let me just share my screen, and we're gonna have a simple, uh, just a highlight of uh, what data analysis is, and then we can go to the uh, practical solution. So uh, if you can't hear my uh, voice or you cannot see my screen, just let, let, let me know, and I can work on that. Um, Okay, can you see my screen now? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, so first we're going to start with uh, just a basic highlight of what data analysis is and uh, how we're going to do it and how we can interpret the results that we get from the data analysis and then we can go to uh there's just a practical session on how we can do it so if you have any questions you can just raise your hand uh, or you can uh, just speak up uh, since i'm on another tab i want to see i might try to see your uh, message so make sure to speak okay so let's start so um let's just from uh just start from what data analysis is so it's just the process of inspecting, cleaning, uh, transforming, and modeling a data to just retrieve or get discover uh, useful information uh, that's not easily identified uh, by just looking at the data. Uh, since the data could be uh, multiple uh, entries or it could be from different tables and so on, it might be a bit hard to just discovered these insightful informations by just looking at the tables or the data. So that's uh, where we use or data analysis comes in. So it's important uh, in making informed decisions, uh, in identifying trends and patterns, and just to improve uh, operational efficiencies. So it has a lot of use cases, uh, but mainly we, we use it for uh, BI, which is business intelligence, uh, healthcare, marketing, finance, and so on. So the process of data analysis uh, starts from the collection. So the first step or the first process, uh, step in the process of uh, data analysis starts from the data collection. So you could get the data from interviews, surveys, questionnaires, or from just an existing data source. So for your case, uh, you have two sets of data, right? So for the first one, we have already provided, but for the second one, you can you have to just fetch the data from the given sites. So that's your data collection. Sorry. Uh, and the second step is just cleaning the data uh, and making it um, just available or ready to be analyzed. So I I, I believe you have seen you have seen these uh, things on the first se session on Monday. So they include just handling the missing data. You could input the input, uh, uh, like entries, or you can delete the whole record of that row. Uh, or you can, and you can, uh, you have to remove duplicates. Uh, you have to transform the data. This is not applicable for this week. But uh, you will need to transform the data by normalizing it or standardizing it uh, so that the deviation between uh, entries is not that much higher. So we need to uh, make sure that they are normalized or standardized. So, uh, yeah. And you have to detect outliers and uh, you can actually. Uh, uh, remove them if they are less than 5% of the whole data, or you can uh, come up with an imputation uh, strategy in order to just uh, replace them. Yeah. Uh, okay, just to check. Uh, yeah. Is, it, is everything clear so far, guys? Okay, good. I have one, yes, what about the rest? 
Okay, good. Yeah, and here uh, we have the data analysis part. Okay, was that a question? Yes, Itayo. It would be better if you show us an example, I think. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, there would be a practical session after we have covered the tutorial, the, part, the theoretical part. So, yeah, it will be covered. Yeah, and then we have the EDA, which is the explanatory data analysis. So this is what we are going to be doing today. So the EDA uh, could, or the data analysis could uh, include uh, descriptive statistics or statistical analysis, which include mean, uh, finding the mean, the median, the mode, the standard deviation and the variance. And visualizations, which include uh, bar chart, histogram, and any type of uh, chart that's uh, su suitable for your analysis. So each uh, graph type has a specific use case. So make sure to select the appropriate uh, graph for each use case. And, and then you have uh, identifying patterns and trends by using correlation and so on other things that we will see in, uh, later. Yeah, so uh, I wanted to uh, just create this. Uh, so this is all about the data analysis, but uh, from here, we're going to be looking at uh, data analysis from the, the perspective of the project, the specific project that you guys are going to be doing this week. So for, for task three, that means. So the first thing that you should do is understand the data structure and the data set. So, uh, which means identify the key fields and their relationships. So, uh, for instance, from the provided data on task one, you have uh, these columns, right? So you have the hour, the month, uh, the site ID, the location, the coordinates, the city, the country, and so on, right? So you have to identify which uh, column or which field is is of importance for your analysis. So, uh, for instance, the for instance the coordinates, which means the uh, latitude and the longitude, could be uh, not that much of importance for your analysis because uh, you have you already have the city, right? So, as if you can see, it's the same uh, coordinate for the same city. So you can just remove this one, remove the site ID, remove the site latitude and longitude and just uh, stay with or work, work, uh, work with the city. So what I'm trying to say is you have to identify the appropriate uh, column or the appropriate field that is important for your analysis. Uh, so that's the first part, which is understanding the data sets. Uh, and we're going to be looking at advanced filtering te techniques, I believe. Uh, Yesterday, I have actually gone through this one, but I think it was on the later session, but we will go through it again. Uh, we will be using, uh, looking at VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, specifically uh, VLOOKUP, in order to cross-reference and combine the data from uh, different sheets. And I will, uh, so I will be doing these things on another data sheet, but we will discuss on the use case for your project as well. Okay, um, so refining the queries, uh, which includes just writing complex query statements. Uh, so if you don't know what these are, uh, don't worry about them. We will be seeing them how you can write query functions, and they actually are not uh, mandatory for the project, but they are definitely a plus and a good to know uh, actions. Sorry. Um, yeah. So uh, we have basic statistical functions, which I believe you have uh, you have to be uh, very comfortable with using because you're going to be using these things very often. So they include the average, the mean, the standard deviation, and the variation, and others as well. Uh, and the other thing is just creating the default table. So we're going to be lo looking at these things. Uh, yeah, practically. So this is just how to create a keyboard table. And I wanted to highlight, uh, so we know what statistical analysis are, 
but I wanted to highlight uh, their use case and their interpretation uh, for specific projects. So, so we all know the average or the mean. So average means just to calculate the mean value of the, the data set. So uh, the, inter the interpretation of uh, this value is just uh, it gives you the central value of the the, 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 the data set, sorry. So it just represents what's uh, common in the data sets and what's the middle value or the central value of the, the data sets. So the median is just finds the middle value of the data sets, uh, which is less affected by outliers. So uh, this one, the average or the mean is much more affected by outliers. So if you have uh, two outliers in a 10 uh, uh, entries of data set, they could highly, highly uh, affect the value of the average, but they don't really affect the value of the median. So this is, uh, a better way to find the middle value if you have uh, a data set that has outliers. So it's just uh, the median value is a value that suppress the higher half from the lower half. So you're gonna end up with a value that is that sits in the middle between the higher half and the lower half. Yeah, before we move on, uh, is everything clear? Am I moving uh, fast or is everything clear? Uh, Eric, maybe uh, yeah, yeah. you may need to. You may need to. You're not moving too fast. Then you may need to just uh, slow down a bit. Yes, thank you. Okay, yeah. Okay, sure. Uh, and Eric, uh, I believe it was Eric. Yeah. So maybe it's your network, or you're not pinning the screen that I'm sharing. Uh, uh, but I believe it's visible for the rest of the. Friends, right? Um, yeah. So let's move to standard deviation and variation, and we have uh, correlation. So standard deviation is just uh, a measure of the amount of variation or dispersion of the data. So how uh, how much variation is in the data set? So we so a lower uh, value of standard deviation shows that the data points are very much closer to the mean, whereas a higher means you have a wide range of uh, data in the value. So, and variance is just uh, how, just a measure of the spread between numbers in the, the data sets. For instance, if you have 10 entries, the variance shows uh, just, uh, um, just how much uh, spread is in between the 10 entries. So it's just uh, variance is the average square rooted uh, difference from the mean, and uh, high variance shows a larger spread, and low variance shows uh, densely uh, dense data. So it helps us to understand the degree of uh, dispersion in the data sets uh, and complementing the standard deviation. So these two are just very closely related. Just the square root is in between them. Yeah. Okay. So for correlation, it just uh, determines or shows us the relation between two variables. Um, so uh, the correlation is measured in be between uh, negative one to one. So one means very close. Uh, zero means no correlation. Oh, sorry. One means uh, very correlated or positively correlated, and zero means uh, there is no correlation in between them, and negative one means a strong uh, negative correlation. So what this means is if you have a one or a value that's closer to one, uh, that's uh, greater than zero and closer to one, it means that uh, the two uh, variables that you are trying to measure are very related. So when one increases, the other increases. When one decreases, the other also decreases. When you have the correlation value of zero, it means that they are not related. So when one increases, the other may just stay stable or so on. 
and if you have a negative one, they are negatively correlated, which means when one increases, the other decreases, and one decreases, the other increases. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, just the introduction practice of credit analysis. Do you have any questions so far, guys, before we move on to uh, seeing them on the Google Sheets? Or is it clear? Okay, in that case, let's move on to the sheets. So for this tutorial, I have prepared uh, three data sets. Uh, so let me just uh, introduce you to this data sets that we are going to be working with. Um, yes. Uh, okay, explain from, from okay. Uh, okay, let's go through them again. So. So standard deviation is just the amount of uh, like dispersion of the data set. So how dispersed or how uh, how the degree of the variation between the of the data set. So if you have a low value for standard de deviation, it shows that the data set or the rows or the entries are closely related to one another or to the mean. Sorry and higher value for the standard deviation just means that you have a very uh, diverse or uh, uh, dispersed value from the range so you have uh, the variance is just shows the spread between the numbers in the data sets so it's just the average square root of the difference between the mean so it's just uh, the value minus the mean and uh, square rooted right so a high variance in the indicates a large spread in the data and low variance shows a low speed in the data which is is just the complement of uh, the standard de deviation so if you do the standard deviation you might not need to do the variance yeah and the, for the correlation it just shows the relationship between uh, two var variables so if we have a so it's measured between the values uh, from negative one to one to the positive one so if you have a value or a correlation value that's close to one it means that the two variables are closely related which means when uh, one variable increases the other increases also and one uh, when one variable when the variable decreases the other also decreases but if you have a correlation value that is zero it just shows that there is no correlation between the two so this mean this could mean that when one uh, variable is increasing the other may not uh, change as, at all uh, and so on yeah and if you have a value of correlation that's close to negative one it means that uh, they have a strong negative correlation which means when one increases the other decreases and when when the one of the variables increase, uh, decreases the other increases so they are uh, like inversely proportional uh, and one means directly proportional if you know those terms so is that clear uh, I, I believe uh, Shidrak okay good so let me just introduce you to this data set and let's just uh, work with uh, the filters, the method, the query, and the statistical analysis and create a people table and just uh, yeah, ask any questions. So for uh, we have three data sets. So the first data set is uh, sales data sets. So it includes the date of the where the, the date when the sales was made uh, the product id we have uh, i believe 15 products and the region so the region we have four regions the sales amount we have uh, how much sales were uh, sold on that day on that region and for that product and the profit so if you want uh, the cost of the the sales or the cost of the product you can just 
sub subtract uh, the sales amounts from the profit. And here you have the units sold. So you, if you want to know about the price, you can just divide uh, the sales amount by the units sold, and you will have uh, price of the the uh, product. Yeah. Here we have the sales representatives. So we have, I believe, three sales representatives. Uh, these are the six uh, sales persons. Uh, you may con consider them as sales persons. You have three. Um, so moving on to the second uh, data set, we have the product details. So this is just uh, from the research side. We have the product name. We have the category of the product. We have the price, and we have the supplier. And finally, here we have the customer feedback. Uh, we might not use this one actually. So we have the date, the customer ID, uh, and here we have the rating that they give and the comment that they have uh, given us. Yeah. So we're gonna be working with this data set. So is every time everyone clear on that? Just the introduction to the data set part. Okay, good. That's good. So uh, let's start with filtering. Uh, so there are uh, actually, uh, I believe you have actually seen one of the ways that you can use filtering by adding extensions uh, and add-ons. But for now, let's uh, so let's look at two ways that we can do. So. Uh, let's say that I want to filter this data uh, according to the region, right? So we have four regions, and I want to work with uh, just, let's say, the east region, right? Or the west or the north. Uh, like, since the east is for the first entry, let's just work with east. So the first thing, the first strategy or the first way that I can do is just I can just click on the column name or the column of where the region is located and click on the arrow and create a filter so here i have created a filter and you can see that it has added this uh, pattern to the uh, column right? so i can click on that and i can choose which region i want to include in the data set so let's work with just east so i just uh, like select east I, would, I don't want to see the blanks so east and click ok so i will end up with just east so if i if i want to just work with east i can just uh, do this one but I, if you can see i cannot access the rest of the data here right so i cannot see where uh, the west the north and other things are right so this might not be ideal if you want to work with the others as well okay in that location should drag uh, okay am i not audible or hello okay good okay so you want me just just do it again okay good good uh yeah did I see someone raise their hand? Um, okay, maybe not. Okay. Okay, let's do a recap. Uh, okay, let me just remove this filter. So the first thing that I did was just click on the column that I want to filter. So I want to filter the region. Uh, so I just click on the region. And you can see this uh, arrow, right? Or you can just right click here and you will see create a filter. And here, when you create a filter, you will see these three dots, right? So you can see three, these three da dashes actually, not dots, dashes. So if you click on that, it will show you which, uh, so it will ask you which things you want to uh, see. So you can just choose any of this. So if you have, uh, if it has a right uh, on the left part, it means it will be displayed. So let's 
just work with try to work with the nodes and the cells so i will remove this one and you will end up with the nodes and the cells it has it. so as i was saying uh, it has completely removed the other uh, data sets uh, or the other entries from the sheet right so if you still want to work with the other uh, data or the, the other entries this would this would not be uh, recommended so i will show you another way that you can do but this is just to show you that there is another uh, way to do it so is that clear or shall we do it again okay good okay so let me just remove the filter here you can see remove the filter sorry button. yes yes can you can you do it again sorry for interrupting no no it's okay it's okay okay um uh, okay let's do it in another way okay so here i just so the region is on the uh okay let's let's do the sales representative so here the sales representative is on the g column so i'm going to click on that one and it will highlight the whole uh, column and you can do you, you can click on this ar arrow and click on create a filter or you can just right click and uh, create a filter or if you want you can just come here and insert uh, yes uh robert i don't know uh maybe it's your network or you're not pinning uh, the screen that i'm sharing but i don't think the others are ha having this uh, problem so can you maybe rejoin and uh maybe change your network okay so you can just click on this one and create click on create a filter and when you create a filter you will see these three dots right three dashes actually so when you click on that it will show you here on the bottom part it will show you the options that you have so we we, we have three representatives so we have representative one representative two and representative three so if you if i want to just work with representative three I will unselect the rest, so I will just end up with representative three. So re three months uh, means yeah, and click OK. So I will end up with just the data uh, for just representative three. Yeah. So if I want to remove this one, I will just come here and remove the filter, and they will go back to normal. So is that clear? Uh, I believe it was entire. Uh, thank you that's clear okay good so that's one way you can filter and the other way that you can filter is by calling the function uh filter so i'm going to write equals and filter here we, we, you can see filter and it's going to accept uh the range so it's going to be for this case i want the range from a to up to uh let's say here uh yeah g60 so i want from a2 up to g16 so you, you can see that it's uh, selected so i want to uh, use these things and when i uh, create comma i will see which one which column i want to uh, pick up so let's do uh, c Right, so let's go for C. So column and C two. So I want to filter by using this value up to uh, C. Um, let's see sixteen. So I want to filter sorry C sixteen. So here I want to filter this value, so this column, right? And I want um, to just filter the value that includes its right? yeah so i close the bracket and press enter here i have the data set that is only called east so 
I just use the filter function and filter these inches. For each, if you want to do for others, you, you can do it. So you can work with this one while still having uh, these uh, data sets. So I'm not going to just uh, uh, delete anything here. I'm just going to add another data set here. So yeah, this is another way you can do it. So is that clear, guys? Or do you want me to, to, to go through it again? Okay, so this seems to be clear. Uh, yeah, let's move on there. Okay, so this was for filtering. So let's look for, let's go, go for uh, B lookup. So B lookup is going to help us to uh, just combine uh, two tables. So if you want to combine the uh, product details with the uh, sales data and just uh, find a specific thing. For instance, for instance, uh, on this uh, we have the product, we have the, the category, we have the price, we have the supplies, right? So let's say I want to include the category of the product here in the sales data. So I have here, let's say, uh, category. So let me just make it bold. So here I want to add the category. So one thing you can do is uh, just go for, so, so for, uh, for product A, you can just go back to the table and uh, get product A. Uh, for product B, you can just go to the table and go to product B's closing and so on and so on. But that's going to be tiresome, especially when the data set is uh, very um, big. So one thing you can do is you can use the B lookup. So vertical lookup. And the entry score, this one is going to be uh, the first thing that you're gonna do, you're gonna enter is what you want to look up. So for this uh, example, I want to look at the product. So I want to look up the product from this table. So I'm gonna choose uh, B lookup uh, the product is on the B uh, column and B2 is the first. So since I'm working on this row, I'm gonna choose B2. So I can just click here or write B2, the same thing. And after that, I'm gonna add a comma and I'm gonna add the table name here. So the table name is product details. Product, uh, product details, I'm gonna add a comma after that, and I'm gonna select, uh, I'm gonna see which columns I want to include. So I want to include from A to D. I'm gonna write, oh, sorry. Finished, so I want to include from A to D. Yeah, and then I'm gonna add, which column I want uh, just include in this part. So since I'm looking for the category, I'm gonna select this one. So this one is the first one, the second column. So I'm gonna go with the second column. Um, yeah, second column and yeah, this is just uh, to pair it, just uh, not to look up for other things. So false, and when I enter, uh, click enter, you can see that it has imposed uh, the category of each product from this table. So yeah, uh, exactly, guys. Okay, I will, I will, I will go through it again, uh, but. I want to check from the others. So, how was uh, is it clear? Um, so, rather than being um, a lecture, let's make it a uh, discussion. Okay. It's a bit confusing. So, it would be good if you repeat it. Oh, okay. It's okay. It's okay. I will. I will. I will repeat it. Okay. So, 
let's if that i think it's better uh, to look at it from the project perspective so what is the use case of the look and what is the use case of uh, let's say filter and so on so uh, so from your data you have the ct and you have the pm25 the sulfur dioxide and so on right so you can one way you can use a filter is uh, for instance uh, let's say you you have found out that uh, the minimum level of uh, pm25 that needs to be in the air for you to consider it to be uh, a site that you can re relocate to is let's say uh, above at least no right so if you want to filter uh, the sites and the cities and other things which have a pm25 uh, value that is less than 100 you can use uh, the filter uh, function so here you can just see say that value is uh, less than the, this number we will see how to do that in query also but that's one way you can use the filter and for the v lookup so you have two tables right so you have the uh, data that we, uh, that you have already i hope already based from the web that uh, the site that we have provided so you have fetched the, the, the uh, data by city, right? So if you want combine these two um, these two data sets on the city, you can do it by using the lookup. So it will look up uh, look at the um, city from the other table and fetch whichever. So here you you can say the cost, the annual cost, and it will fetch the annual cost for you up in each lookup is just v stands for ver the vertical which is the vertical entry and h stands for the horizontal entry so these things uh before i move on is that clear on how you can just implement these things to your project okay so this uh, v lookup v lookup is still not uh, the filter is very clear v lookup yeah 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 i will be more uh, example i will go through it again i'm just asking if you like if you have the bigger picture of how you can apply these things to your project this yes sure you. sure yes sure so uh, we have fixed the category so price right so from this table we have the price so let's let's just fetch the price for each product from the table also the price of the product from this uh, sheet from this expression so i'm gonna write the function first because the lookup and the first entry is going to be um, which which column i want to look up from uh, uh, which column i want to look up from this table so i want to look up the product right so the product is listed here. So the product is on B, the uh, column B. And since I am on uh, the second row, I'm going to choose the second row. So B2, sorry, B2 is what I'm going to be lo looking up, comma. And then you're going to add sheet that you are going to look up B2 or the product from. So here I have, if you can see the product, the name of the sheet is product detail. Uh, sheet that you want to use. So product, sorry, product uh, details. Okay. 
exclamation mark and which uh, the range or uh, columns that you want to add. So the columns that I want to use are from A to D. So I'm going to add. I'm going to add A. We're not in the screen. Yes. Oh. So we are not sharing the screen, we can't see it. Yeah. Sorry. Um, can you see it now? Uh, yeah, it's coming up. It's coming up. I don't know why. Okay. The network. So I, I, I think that clearly, yeah, procedures. That's from the video. So I just. Children, yeah. please, can you move? Okay. We, we can't yeah. see it yet. You can't see the screen? Yes, still it's not visible. Oh. Uh, okay, let me just check when I have. Uh, oh, okay. It's easy to watch. Let's see. I don't know Now. Not visible. Okay, now can you see it? Yeah, yes, yes, it's working. Okay, I'm um, sorry, it was I believe that. Look up. And the first thing that you are expected to enter is uh, what you are going to, trying to look. So I were, I'm trying to look up the product from like, this uh, sheet. Part. So I'm going to write uh, the product is uh, column, which is B, and then to the, the row of the row that I'm at. So I'm lo looking for B2, which is product A. From where? So the second entry is going to be from where do you want to uh, do you want to look it up, right? So I want to look it up from the product uh, details uh, table, right? The sheet, right? So here we have the product details sheet, and I'm gonna add an exclamation mark, and here I'm I'm asked to enter the uh, range or the uh, columns that I want to add. So it's from A to B, right? So from A, B, C, D, so A to D. So I'm going to write uh, here A, column D. So D. So it's going to fetch uh, the uh, columns from this sheet, all uh, the columns from A to D. So it's going to fetch this. Table. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, the second entry, and the, for the third entry, I'm gonna add what I want to uh, look up. Right. So here I want to just look up uh, the price of this product, which is product A, 
from this table, right? So product, uh, sorry, the price is put here, right? So it is one, two, three. It's the third column. So I'm going to write three. So just to build the third column. And the other one to can do page other things. So I'm going to false and just press it. So here you can see it has reached the so this is just the out of view. So it has page the value of the price of product A, product B, all of the products from this table. So yeah. Is it better or is it clear now? Yes, uh do do cross. Do right, thank okay. you very much. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's clear, but just to um, verify, so VLOOKUP is used when you want to extract data from another um, another sheet, right, another page into the current sheet that you're working on. Yes. Is, is that, am I, am I correct? Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, all right, so it's clear then. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, so H lookup and uh, VLOOKUP are used to just reference cross reference and combine data from different sheets. So if you can see from the example, I had the sales sheet and uh, the sales data sheet and the product details sheet. So I wanted to cross reference or to pitch uh, or to combine the category and the price uh, data from this sheet. So I used the B lookup and lookup is just for the horizontal. Yeah. Okay, Italian. Italian, you can speak. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's possible to ask uh, a question from yesterday's uh, challenge. Uh, can I continue? There is no yesterday's cha cha challenge. The challenge is the same. I mean, uh, challenge from this uh, one session. The session? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe it's related. Uh, after calculating the average, and when I'm trying to uh, find and replace the average value, uh, it's impossible. Can you show me? Okay, the imputation part. Yep. Yeah, uh, I will show you, but maybe after the session or at the end of the session. Okay, fine. To, uh, just to uh, not get off track of, uh, from the data analysis part. Yeah, and for uh, Melody, uh, so I think it's better to insert the function here and see why uh, lookup uh, up. Was used to show, yeah. So here it's just I'm uh, I'm just giving it a false uh, entry at the end because false means uh, don't get it sorted. So if you want to find or if you want if you want to fetch the um, the data in a sorted format, you can just click right uh, through. But I don't want it to sort it out. I just want it to fetch the data directly. So that's why I uh, entered false. So is that clear? Okay, good. And Jonathan three stands for the column that I want to fetch. Um, okay, now let's just get rid of this one. So here I I, I wrote uh, three, and here I wrote two. So what this means is that uh, for the category uh, from the product detail sheet, the category is found on the second, uh, this is the first column and the second column, right? So I'm just writing two to show that I want to fetch the second column. And here you have three, which is for the search. Um, so is that clear, Jonathan? Okay, good, good. Um, yeah, any questions before we move on to uh, advanced query?
and the statistical uh, analysis? Or is it is everything clear? If everything is clear, show me something. Thumbs up. Okay, good, good. Um, so let's move to advanced query. So here it might seem a bit uh, confusing. So make sure to ask me, and we can go through it again and again to have a good grasp about the concept. So, yeah, uh, okay. So let's start by writing to call to query. So I want to run uh, the query la language query to do some advanced query. So for the query, it accepts the first thing that needs is, let's see, the table here. So from A2 to E6 is the uh, data. If you are trying to fetch from another table, you have to include the table. If you are just trying to fetch data from this table, you can just write uh, the range. The second thing is um, just the query functions or the query language. So I'm going to show you what it means. So for the first one, we're going to work with what we have right here. So we're going to work with uh, this sheet. And for the second example, we're going to work with uh, the product detail or the customer feedback uh, sheet. So let's get started. So for this sheet, um, I'm just expected to uh, enter the range that I want to include. So from A up to E, I can say. So it's going to just consider these things. Right? So I want to just the range of the data or the data that I want to work with is from A to E. And then uh, comma, I'm going to write a query here. So the uh, queries are written in a uh, colon. I'm sorry, in a quotation mark. So I'm going to open the quote with a quote, uh, the quotation mark, and write select. So it, it's when you are writing queries, it's advised to use all tabs, so select. So it's, I want it to select everything. So when you want it to select everything, you're not going to write everything. You just want to write uh, select and uh, the asterisk uh, sign. So select everywhere, uh, everything. And what do you want? Uh, how do you want them to be selected? You can write uh, where. Uh, the column and C, so here I'm seeing the column and C, where the column and C is equal to, uh, let's say, uh, west. So, west. So I'm going, uh, I'm going to explain what it means. Uh, this is, uh, so I'm going to find uh, this one out. So I'm going to select everything from these uh, entries where uh, the entries of the column C is west. And I can actually add other uh, entries. So I can add and uh, where, let's say, the profit is above, uh, uh, below 200. So where E is a profit is uh, below uh, 200. And I'm going to close the quotation mark and I'm going to close the bracket. And here you can see, okay, I think I wrote uh, here, I wrote this one. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Here, yeah. So if you can see, I have filtered uh, from this table the uh, sales from the sales data uh, where the region is from the west and where the profit is below 100. so this is just an advanced query so don't feel uh if you if we're not uh, familiar with, with it don't feel uh, pressured it's not required for this project it's just a nice to have or a nice to know thing 
and it's already included in the uh, challenge document. So that's why I wanted to introduce it to you guys. Um, so uh, is that clear in any way? Okay, good. Um, let's do just one more on the query side and we can move to uh, uh, pivot tables and just find them using the statistical analysis or the statistical analysis. So here, yes, is our equation. Okay, uh, because so uh, I'm going to do it again, but use another data. So uh, it's not clear, we, we can do it for as well. again. So here I'm going to write equals to query because I want to write a query. But here, let's say I want to fetch the data from another sheet. So I'm going to provide the name of the sheet, which is product details. And I'm going to add an um, exclamation mark. And I'm going to just write the elements that I want to fix. So from A to D, J. So I'm going to write, uh, I'm going to write A to D. So I'm going to page this. I'm going to work with this data and I'm going to add a column and write my query. So queries are written in a, a quotation mark. So I'm going to open a quote and write my, my function. So the first query function starts with select. So select, if you want to send it. If you want to send it a specific thing, you can just write it here, but I want to select everything. So everything is a strict. I want to select everything where, uh, let's say, uh, where, where, um, yeah, where the supplier, okay, let's work with the supplier. So where D is equal to uh, one, supplier one, let, let's say. So I want to fetch the data where the supplier is supplier one. So uh, let's write here. I want to where, uh, right? Yeah. So where, um, let's say, uh, D, I believe, was it D? Yeah, D. Uh, where D is uh, equal to, uh, let's take the name, uh, let's work, work, work is supplier one. So where D is equal to, uh, supply one, and you can actually add other uh, queries. For instance, I want to fetch uh, the data where supply is supply one, and I want the price to be about let's say uh, fifty, right? So, and you can use you can add an end uh, function here, and uh, let's say where is the price. No, located the price is no, located on C, the column on C. So I'm going to write uh, and where, uh, sorry, C is, let's say, greater than, uh, no, greater than 50. So just to go over it again, I want to fetch the data from the product details sheet, and I want to fetch the data. I, I want to fetch everything where uh, the supplier is supplier one and the, the price is above 50. So I press enter and I have the product, the category, and the price of the supplier. So here you can see uh, the supplier is supplier one, the price is above 50, and I have the category and the product details as well. So uh, was that clear? Okay. Okay, good. Uh, so everyone, uh, is, is everyone uh, happy with it? Compatible with what we have just seen? Okay. Uh, Orkisa asked, so yeah, yeah, uh, this session is being recorded, so the recording will be available on YouTube in uh, just a couple of hours, uh, three hours max.
So just make sure to check the YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and search for Ten Academy, and actually the link is already uh, pinned on Slack, so you can just check that uh, YouTube channel, and it will be uploaded there. So, any other questions, guys? Before we move on to the statistical analysis and uh, the pivoted table, I know I have, I I I have taken up. Uh, so much time, but I wanted to uh, have a hands-on uh, tutorial so that you can feel more comfortable with it. Uh, what material? So these the slides will be shared on Google Drives, and I can share the sheet that I'm currently work working on if you want. But yeah, so let's continue. So let's say I want to. So the statistical, uh, the statistical analysis that we are going to be looking at our average. So you can just if I try to allocation. Okay. Uh, so just write equal to and average. So here we can average. So it's it has a key at one can calculate the average value of the distance. So this is the average. Average uh, sales. And let's see the median sales. So here it's just right equal to and median, and you can just select the range that you want. Find the median for and the percentage so the median is here. And so the average you can see the average, you can see the median. Uh, what's, uh, yeah, or the uh, correlation, uh, sorry. Uh, before correlation, let's look at uh, that standard variation so, and the variation. So here you can just write uh, standard deviation is with us STD. Yeah, under division and you can just select the column in that so, Just press in turn, so the variation, the standard variation. This one here is just asking to put a field that's not a correct element. So, and for the variation, you can, you can just write equal to bar, which is bias. And just enter the data that you want to calculate the variation. So, yeah. So, it's just you just have to for average or for the mean, you can use the picture to cost the average. For the median, you can use the picture median. And for the standard deviation, you can use the picture. So, and STD EV for the variance. VR and select the appropriate element that you want. So that's a quick pickup. Um, so uh, these statistical analysis are done for only and only numerical data. So, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, you can do it. So. The first thing, it's, it's a very interesting uh, question by uh, Dorcas. And we call that, uh, uh, yes, uh, KGEC. Uh, so, what's your Slack name? Just drop your Slack name and I will, uh, or just drop your email and I will send it to you via uh, email. But back to, uh, Dr. Class's question. Uh, so, sorry, uh, 
broadcast as Yeah, so the first thing that you need to do is filter the data set uh, for and just work with uh, the East, uh, I believe, the information was for East region. So the first thing that you can, you have to do is just filter the data and come up with uh, the data set for just the East. Right? So here we have actually quoted or cal calculated uh, the filter, but let's do it again here just so that it uh, clear right so the first thing i'm going to do is equal to filter and i'm going to add the range so it's going to be from a to d uh, yeah from a to d and i want to uh, filter the column and c so i can just write c and where it equals to uh, east Oh, sorry, I think I made a mistake. Okay, from C2 uh, up to C16. Um, yes. Uh, okay. Okay, let's specify from A2 up to B16. So here I have already found the uh, that this page actually uh, um, up to not D but I. So we have pushed here everything uh, in the east uh, region. So if I want to do the analysis for let's say sales amounts, so sales amounts here. So sales amount is here. So I, if I want to calculate the average of sales amount for East region, I can do this for average. Average. So yeah, the first thing that you can do is filter it in and uh, do the analysis. And for standard deviation, yeah, you can just say equal to std and then distribution and submit the data. Yeah. So is that clear? Focus and everyone. So is it clear for the statistical analysis? Uh, let's take our time and just uh, so only the cases are uh, understandable. Uh, what about the rest? Is it clear or shall we go to the record? This shows some uh, reactions. So, thumbs up for it's clear and thumbs down for it's not clear. I'm very good, guys. Hello. Yes, sir, you are audible. Please, uh, can you just repeat again the statistical analysis side, average, median, standard, and variance? Thank you. Yeah, sure. What, what about the rest? It's clear or it shows some questions so that we can watch the other. Uh, okay, so let's do the average of profit, the average of the median of profit, the standard for uh, of profit, and the variance of profit. So I am under the profit uh, column, so I'm going to write equals to average, and I have to just select the data or the range that I want in my calculation. That's all. And present that. So it will calculate. Uh, average for the different that are covered or select. And for the median, you have to just write equals to median and give it the range 
of the data set. And for the standard deviation, uh, the standard, yeah, the standard deviation, we have like faulty, STDV, uh, STDEV, and open the bucket and select the data set that we want. So here, we're going to work with this data set. So I and for the variance, it's the same thing because the variance, VAR, and uh, just select the data set. So that's much it. Uh, yeah. So is it clear? Oh, okay. Good. Um, then let's just look at uh, correlation and how we can create and use pivot tables. Pivot tables are very, very important when doing uh, data analysis. So make sure to uh, follow. Okay, so let's start with correlation. So for the correlation, the formula or the function that we are going to be using is correl. So equals to for so for Okay. Yeah, so it's just the uh, sample that moment correlation option. So that's what we're going to be using. And what I accept this is the range of the two data sets that we want to calculate the correlation for. So, for instance, let's say I want to see the correlation between uh, the sales amount and the price. So, does the price affect? The sales amounts or it doesn't or it affects it negatively. So that's what I want to see. Right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna select uh, this one, the sales amount, and comma and select the price column and press enter. So you can see. to see the correlation between uh, the units sold and the price. So it's still one. Why is it one? Yeah, it's still one. It's the same thing actually, units sold and so it shouldn't be like this, let's say. Okay, let's just give it some numbers. So um, let's say here I sold 74, here I sold uh, 15, here I sold 23, or 23, 27, 80, uh, 30, 40. Um, let's see this one here. I want to see this. I'm just giving it a random number to see a different value because it's the same value as the price. It's not for it, it shouldn't be like that. So, uh, 37, 30, and uh, 70, uh, 40, uh, 45. Yeah, so here. You can see the correlation is actually changing. So the correlation is 0 0.69. So it's still positively strongly uh, positively correlated. So when the price goes up, the unit sold also goes up. So that's the correlation the value. So uh, I think uh, there, there's a question. So look at that. The correlation to those parameters have to be numerical value or in which a correlation agents service. I believe it's for 
numerical because you cannot correlate uh, numerical with object. Right? So calculates, uh, but you can check a few, you can do smart work. Let's select uh, the list in the same channel. So it's not okay. So because it's going to correlate, find the correlation between unit and values only. But it's a good question. Okay. So is it clear on the correlation side? Okay, I think the ability was uh, more or less a simple one. So let's just put everything back and do the keyboard together. So let's, uh, let's, I think it's look at some the weakness is about there, the heat, and the new sheets. Yeah, so uh, let's work with this one. So the pivot table is just where to go or find the relationship between uh, the tables on a much broader way. Uh, let's see. It's very interesting. Uh, to just summarize the fingers and the patterns. Uh, so the first thing that we're gonna do is let's say uh, we want to insert uh, insert I'm going to insert pivot table, I'm gonna create a new sheet and uh, the data range I can select the data range. So uh, here it's already selected, so the selected data range is from uh, N1 to H16, but I don't want to put uh, column and H. So G so from here up to here, right? So I'm going to create it. So it's created here. So you can do a lot of a lot of things uh, on a keyboard table. So here are some suggestions that you can do. So here is the sum of sets on more profit and units sold for each sales representative. So if you click on that one, so for the first sales representative, the sum of sales is two thousand seven hundred. The sum of profit is uh, 1,090, and the sum of units sold is uh, 2,207. So, for each, you have see, you can uh, calculate it, and you can do a lot of things with it. So, these are just the um, suggestions that sheets give us. But let's work with our own uh, work. Right. Um, so I was thinking, uh, okay, let's think about this. Uh, what if uh, we can uh, summarize the sales by region and product? So I want to summarize the sales by region. Uh, so I want to find out how much sales I have for each region and each uh, product. Right. So. Does that sound interesting? <laughs> yeah. So for the rows, I want, uh, let's say, the regions. So the regions are going to be our, my uh, uh, rows. And for the columns, let's say, I want to find the product. Right? So I'm going to find uh, the sales amount for each product in each region. So for each region, what is the sales uh, of product A, what is the sales for product B, what is the sales for product C, and so on. So here, I'm gonna add the value. So what I want the value to be is the sales amount. So here, I'm gonna add the sales amount, and you can see, uh, see uh, I'm using the sum, so it's gonna sum up the sales of that product in that region, uh, and give me this table. So here, you can see it's summarized, uh, so for East region, we have only product A, we don't have product B, product B is only sold in the West, and product C is only sold in the North, and so on and so on. And so, on. so here it's more easier to find the relationships between 
uh, increase of polymers in a deposit. Um, so is that clear, guys? Uh, can you come again, please? I will have it. Uh, okay. Okay, let's clear this one. Um, okay, if, do you have any requests that you want me to find? So, anything you are, that you are interested in that you want to find or you want to look at from this data? So, I'm going to just ask you guys if there's anything that you want me to do, look for in the data set. So, any requests or shall we just do it my way? I'm sorry for the noise. Hello? I think no one is going to take the chance. Uh, profit by region. Okay. That's if we one. can do uh, product sales and uh, profit. If we can I do think I, uh, I didn't see uh, 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 Can you write it on the message? Uh, 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 so, the comments here section. Okay, in the meantime, let's try to do uh, profit per region, right? So, uh, profit per region, okay, yeah, yeah, you, you can do it. So, for the row, I'm going to select regions, and what I want in the values is the profit. So, here you have the profit for each region. We have Canada, the US region, and so on and so forth. Collins, can you write your request message? So do it together. And your mic is good. If, if you want the simulation. Hello, Collins. Uh, uh, maybe if anyone can hear him, may, maybe can you write it in the comment box? I'm hearing uh, broken up voices. Can anyone hear what you just said? No? Um, I wasn't able to hear him either, so perhaps you can just type in the chat. Yeah. Please write your request in the chat box. I, I believe I just uh, did what Godwin requested. So, uh, are there any other requests, guys? So that we can just uh, get a hold of people uh, here because we're, we're going to be using them a lot and they are more easier. They just make everything easier. So anyone, any requests? Collins, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. So you want to see um, the product in relation to sales and profit. So yeah, now we can do that. I believe. So let me just put this one up, and uh, I believe you want to see product in relation to sales and profit. So for the rows, I'm going to add. Here, I'm going to add the product. And for the values, I'm going to add the profit. And I'm going to add the sales. So if you can see for each product, we have the sales and we have the same of the profit. So it's easier when you do it, but it's very, very uh, important that you understand how to do it. And Okay, uh, so is that clear, guys? And we 
of uh, end the session here. Are there any questions that you want to push to? I know I have taken up a lot of a lot of time. I wanted to, uh, since you guys have been interested for uh, like uh, Amazon tutorials, that's why I want to start. So is everything really clear? Is everyone happy? Maybe Jonathan, how there is. Uh, I'm waiting for your responses, guys. Okay, I'm going to take that as a yes. So, yeah, thank you for joining the session. You don't, if you guys don't have any more questions. Okay. So, um, uh, yeah. So, just to clarify, there are no questions, right? There are no ones. No one does. Okay.